Now that the stay at home order is in effect, there are some growing concerns over how enforcement will be managed in racialized and low income communities. Police will now have the power to ticket those they feel are not complying. Some say that they fear that racialized and low income communities will be unfairly targeted and over policed. Communities like the Jane and Finch area where residents say they have a long history of being unfairly monitored by police. Uh, we've seen resources go into policing during COVID, you know, putting up CCTV cameras um, and, and, and really just ramping up their services. And that's not helping residents in, in a pandemic. The stay at home order means extra enforcement will now be in neighborhoods across the city. Police will now have the power to ticket those they feel are not complying. Advocates fear this may result in the carting of black and brown people. I'm hearing that that's not going to be the tactic, um, but even when carding ended, um, the practice still existed in the neighborhood. Low income racialized communities have a long history of over policing and being over policed um, in our city and, and across the country. Um, and so when we hear more about policing, um, I start to get worried about the fact that we're not addressing the social inequities. Inequities that experts say are causing increased cases of COVID-19 in these low-income neighborhoods where stats have shown for months they have been the hardest-hit areas impacted by this pandemic. We keep pulling from the policing toolbox, and, and, and I appreciate that that may be necessary in some cases, but we're not addressing paid sick leave, we're not addressing decent wages, um, and, and, you know, we simply cannot police our way out of this pandemic. Levels of government are missing, missing the mark. Um, instead of surveillancing and policing and targeting um, our community and our bodies, they really need to make sure that, you know, workplaces are safe. People are able to get on transit safely. Advocates are also concerned by the vague language used by the province to indicate when enforcement should be taking place. Leaving it up to the officer's discretion, they say, could lead to unfair profiling. When we rely on officers to get discretion, we know from the research that certain characteristics of individuals, uh, for black people, the color of their skin, where they reside, who they spend time with, their manner of clothing, their dress, or pardon me, it's going to lead to situations that officers will use these as proxies for suspiciousness. The Toronto police say individuals are not compelled to explain why they are out of their residence, nor is being outside evidence of a failure to comply with a stay at home order. They say officers will focus enforcement efforts on restaurants and businesses, not in compliance. Experts say it is the responsibility of those implementing these policies to consult with the communities to find out what their concerns are surrounding policing rather than taking a top-down approach. Melissa Nakavali, City News.